uh, you know, we have so many players, like, you know, so many tournaments, all of them over, like, 100 people. And they're all within, like, you know, they're all within 15 miles from each other, which, you know, was so cool. That could be half an hour, but that could also be an hour and a half. That could be an hour easily. <laughs> right. Like, 10 miles? That's definitely an hour. <laughs> all right, so they're sticking with that Lucario pick. And not last going Daisy, it looks like, instead of Peak. So remember to keep that in mind. I have a bad habit when I'm commentating, right? I'd say, I just see the umbra you know, the, the flood on the screen. I'm like, oh, it's a peach, but it's actually Daisy this time That's around. Right. Yeah. Don't get the two confused. And Swift guy yeah, going right for the Anubis. Definitely right. going to have to question Mars. Uh, get the knowledge, because he must, he definitely knows something I don't about this whole uh, setup. It worked so well last time. If you recall, stream earlier in the day, Mars and Zenodo had a barn burner of a game where yeah, it's like, two minutes <laughs> like yeah, less than two minutes. They took all six stocks. So yeah, it's uh, they're not maintaining the same pace this time around. Just the quality of the opponent, but <laughs> it was still just very powerful looking. Yeah, yeah. Did not last off stage with Mars, but didn't drop the air. I went for a forward air instead of a neutral air. Yeah, but you did get the, the forward. Mars able to get the forward throw into the notice there. Just maintaining safe control and putting red team already in red. And a dash attack killing, and okay. Uh, blue team ro roaring into the lead now. And, and that forest spear is so huge. It's gotta be tough just because Lucario, you know, not really a known entity as a character as far as singles play has gone. But we do know that the aura is always a factor in the back of the mind. But if they go for it immediately, you can't really control that. That's right. <laughs> they just eat. I mean, he SD's at, at one second, so and do you really like want to stop your opponent from SD? That's yeah, that's not that's true. It's one of those, you know, as a chess player, it's fascinating to me. It's very, it's it's a gambit, right? Yeah. You sacrifice your early your early game pieces to uh, facilitate development. So in this game, you sacrifice Lucario stock to develop the the aura early. So <laughs> you don't see a lot of those in the uh, you know, this match. Oh my God, there's another stock. Yeah. Lucario cannot be stopped. These red stocks are just <laughs> melting. They keep losing the circle together, but an unsmash from not last will close out uh, Lucario's stock. Yeah, now, he, enough of that. He, he really only does have two stocks to work with, but with the addition of like chair stock, uh -huh. and especially with Zenodo like, being the stock tank, um, playing very safe, uh, who knows? He could have access to five stocks. Uh, yeah, Zenodo just been chilling. He's been so focused on, you know, uh, Mars Lucario, that it's <laughs> that so I'm just chilling with three stocks still, everyone else at one. I mean, let's be real, like, Mars's Lucario is the one that's putting out the damage, so it's no it's no question, like, as to why they're focusing so much on Lucario. Right. Look, look right there, like, yeah. <laughs> took both stocks. Yeah, that was two and a half minutes, so they, they, their pace slowed down by 30 what? seconds, but Zenodo didn't lose a stock, he's, he's still not proven that. I think you know, he's he's a he's a god right now. If I saw correctly, Mars actually got five stocks. <laughs> he took five stocks in that game. That's, <laughs> yeah, that's good. He just kind of has Zenodo just chilling there with the turnip, waiting. If if Mars looks like he's getting in a little bit of trouble, then I'll just throw it in and just kind of you know trade trade the damage. And that's what I was talking about, like that Mars is being that aggressive player, and with Zenodo just especially like having access to like auto flow cancel yeah. or instant flow cancel. Good turn ups, strong back airs. It, kind of, it makes it a, it's a great tool to use. Yeah, it's kind <laughs> of the not? thing, right? They uh, just yeah, with Zenodo just waiting. I think he's kind of just gonna be looking for if Mars gets himself into more trouble than he can than he can really handle. Uh -huh. That's that's when Zenodo's and otherwise he's kind of not really engaged, just you know, content to throw a turn up here or wow. there. Already wow. that wasn't even a, an effect of aura really. He just kind of just kept re off stage, even right there, you burn the second jump. Big F smash yeah. landing on that last. Now Zenodo getting into the fray, putting on some edge guards. I you saw it right there, just the turn up to cover Mars and Mars back on the front line. And wow. wow, we got a shield break. Down smash. And good by Zenodo. Zenodo MVP right there. I mean, Mars got the kill, but Zenodo was able to separate race away and just you know, not be able to be there for her partner. Right. Very smart play. Overall, I'm not sure what the answer to this. Like usually in doubles, you kind of can figure out an answer to the riddle, but they, you know, the gambit comes out, and 
Anubis looking very, very powerful they are going to back here. Great. And with Mars being at 118, just that much stronger. Oh, wow. He <laughs> was like below 70, I think. These moves are doing so much damage. Okay. All right. Both members of Boots are dropping down stock. A little hope now for the red team. They're able to even up the stocks just yes. a little bit. So now they have like even stocks. But the aura is so powerful. Like every back here is doing like so much damage. Might just be like the game plan just might be to keep Mars away from you. <laughs> like just keep knocking him off stage and then take that opportunity to rush down Zenodo. Right. Because Zenodo, I mean, he's not gonna have that many escape tools. Uh, of course, he has like those offensive, like instant low cancers, but I mean, he's not gonna be going anywhere. You can just keep knocking Mars off stage. Wow, that back here, and that's I think. That's going to be the, uh, the test all entire tournament. Who's going to solve this? Anubis Riddle. Well, it's, it might be one of the other proceeds. Yeah. I, I'm interested in what the counterplay is going to be. Uh, if there's a counterplay today. Nope, not last, he's still fighting, but he's a full and an aura sphere. Now, what's the edge are going to be? Good use of the side B, but we're looking for that back air. Oh. Uh, very, very clean. As soon as one was done edge guarding, the other one was out there, and that was, you know, quick, quick 2 0. Mars and Soto looking like the team to beat right now. They're here, and you know what? It's all business. All business with Mars and Zenodo. <laughs> yeah, they want that doubles money. But they're, they're playing to win, too. They're like, what what tactic can we, or what strategy can we come with? I got one from the Brawl days. <laughs> Let me uh, kill the Lucario really I'm quick. I'm so, like, intrigued.